I wanna I wanna recall um a, another hot take that we had a couple pods ago about like what the next Caitlin Clark is gonna look like. Uh, we threw some names out there: college basketball, college football, like what that's gonna look like. And I thought about it, man. It's not athletics in the traditional sense. Oh, it's just not athletics. Um, but it technically you can argue is a sport. I think that that next Caitlin Clark, maybe not the very next one, but there will be a Caitlin Clark figure in esports in the next 10 to 15 years. That is my hot take. I think when you look at what Caitlin Clark did for the W, she did something where she made something uncool, cool. Uh, made something that a lot of people think, at least in America, because in Korea we're talking about something else. But in America, um, something that's considered dying, not dying and flourishing. I think in the next 10 to 15 years, there is going to be a guy that is going to explode uh, from a content side of things to the the Kai speed levels. Maybe not that high, I guess, but like really like just just explode uh, from a following perspective. But then it's going to be really nice in esports as well. Like someone's going to that's going to make us follow a esports team, watch all their games, all of these different things. Talk about it. Uh, like on Twitter, on the timeline, or whatever the app is at that time. Um, yeah, next ten to fifteen years, esports is gonna get their Caitlin Clark. I'm gonna sound dangerously mm. ignorant. And I'm too, brother. I, I, I'm right I, behind I like you. I, I like the I'm idea. Right behind you. But I'm gonna sound dangerously ignorant. Lower the rims. It'd be a whole day in hell <laughs> if I see a bunch of niggas fuck with comp gaming in twenty. I'm no way. It, yeah, it's just no way. The world... Whatever misogy- the, the, the word for misogynist is for nerds is, that's what you are right now. This is <laughs> crazy. Fine. No, that's fine, bro. I am a nerd. I am TSO <laughs> a bully. I am TSO stage with the goddamn anime profile pig. You catch my stream, it's uh, your favorite streamer, streamer. I'm a nerd. Let me be clear. But I'm... And I'm gonna sound so fucking ignorant, dog. I know. But it's just what I believe. Dang. No way niggas is fucking... It, okay. It's just no way. It's That's just cool. proving my point it's even more. Cool. That I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, bro. I'm gonna hey, keep. Me, I'm gonna keep hating on it until the great white hope comes. It'll never be cool <laughs> to be musty. Um, the only thing I'll say though is the reason why I don't think it'll happen is the video games that are cool in esports are probably taking a bad turn, and that's why I think it'll struggle. Um, Fortnite is cooked. And I'm just going to say cooked for the blanket labels. I don't want people nitpicking this. Fortnite is cooked. COD is cooked. Uh, Valorant is about to be like 40 years old. CSGO is like 40 years old. Came out four years ago. I know. That's 40 years old in video game lane, gang. Yeah? <laughs> unless we're unless we going to hold on. That's what. I, are we going to hold on to those games like a GTA? Because you're talking about it's coming. Is, is there going to be a new CSGO in 10, 15 years? Maybe. But I can't even see. These games are getting cooked, gang. I can even see a big time streamer that plays games. I can't see a big time streamer that plays games at a comp level and has the culture fucking with comp gaming. That's what I can't see. Well, it will take it, it will take an effort of a lot don't of. Don't think Ninja came close. My, my bad, my bad. You don't think Ninja came Ninja, close? Ninja, Ninja, no. Ninja had like a lot of people playing Fortnite and shit. I don't think Ninja had people. Tapping in and, and Ninja did have people tapping the Fortnite uh, tournaments. Let me be very clear. I don't think Ninja had what was going on in the sense of like everyone for the next upcoming years, since why we're here right now. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna try to enter the Fortnite league left, right, and left, right. Like too many people. There are people that did it, but I don't think that it was like a thing that changed culture. I think it was like, oh, I think, I, I think Ninja, what Ninja I did was make. Year. He, what he did was make streaming cool at, while playing the video game. And I'm not saying he's the first one to do it or whatever the case may be. But when that when those situations was happening, all I was hearing was, I need to buy the PC, the $5,000 PC. Not necessarily so I could be good at the game, but because X person is making a million bajillion dollars. Yeah, that's true. And I want to put this personality out there that I think that I have. So no different than like people buying the camera and wanting to be a content creator. Not necessarily like a videographer, which might be a bad comparison, but... They, they still don't want to get good at the game. They just want to, oh, I see these crazy highlights, and they want to do that. Yeah, like, I'd argue, screaming. yeah, that's mm -hmm. actually a good point. I'd argue Ninja, well, and by the way, that, none, none of this is shade. I'd argue Ninja was like the inspiration for people to pick up a microphone and a console and shit like that to start doing this game and shit. I wouldn't argue that he was a, a pioneer for comp gaming, though. 
Go ahead, Dom. My bad. I, I, I would just out. say I, I could definitely see a world where in the next ten to fifteen years a game comes out, and there is somebody who is captivating enough on their own with a personality, but also is very good at a video game. And it gets because they're so cool in real life, not, not like cool kid, but because they are funny, because they have a personality, they would get the attention of whatever stream conglomerate, whatever streamer, whatever group it is to tune in, turning those fans into pseudo comp fans. And then that's how it starts. I could definitely see that happening. It um, also, I, I think even recently, oh, like Jin- Jinxie came close on, uh, with that. But I, let me say this: the the person I'm talking about, it is gonna be another level from a ninja, another level from even Jinxie. Like it that that is what's gonna take. It is going to take a perfect storm. Like even when we talk about Caitlyn, when we talk about Steph Curry, when we talk about LeBron and these figures, it does take a perfect storm. It, even Michael Jordan, it does take a perfect storm for them to become who they are. So whatever that is for esports. I can't tell you what game that is. That, I, I think like, it's gonna happen. That I, that that was my well actually face that I emoted earlier. I think the other biggest issue is, man, gaming. This isn't a jab at gaming. I think gaming is literally cooking, but it take a hell of a game too. Like one hell of a fucking game for people to care about the comp level of that game let alone this streamer being at the comp level of that game. I think it's like a lot of fucking dominoes got to fall. Sage, I would say you would have said the same things if four to five years ago someone said there's going to be a woman to come along and make niggas give a fuck about the WNBA. You no, would have said no, no, it's going to take some hell of a woman to make yeah. a woman not care about those lines, not care but, about Miss Lay. It's going to take a hell of a woman. But, but, like, I, I think, but, then that, but then that argument is cut in half at some point because niggas like basketball. What I'm saying is niggas like gaming, but comp gaming itself is already like a hmm. You th- but it, you would need a specific game. That that nigga plays that people also like the game and then the person and then other audience tap into. I just think like the difference between like Caitlin Clark or whatever, people like basketball. They just you lower the rims. Um, the, the, these bitches ain't hooping like the niggas is. And like that, that's what the issue was with the WNBA for so long. Plus the top gaming scene, dog, the fun games are the single players. So plus damn. plus the 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 there was already like a foundation for that. It's because it's not like college basketball, women's college basketball didn't have like great success. And then again, like say you said, basketball, but then also like the, 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 the remnants were there. Like the uh, Kiki year often was dunking four or five years ago. Leticia Amir was dunking four or five years ago. Like there was videos of girls dunking even when I was in high school. So it was like, okay, there's a clear vision here for something like this. I think the difference is we've we've seen that perfect storm for gaming and from my perspective. And what shook out every single time was, oh, shit, we care about the personality more than the game. Because I'm not going to lie to you, what follows up after that is usually a shitty game. Like in the perfect storm of the game, there's a great streamer and a great game. Those are like probably the two things that are necessary, right? Really, really great streamer. Really, really great game. Even if it was like, I don't know, Black Ops 2 or whatever. What comes right after Black Ops 2 is a shitty game. And I'm not saying that literally for the folks that are about to be Omar, Modern Warfare. Not that. What came, what comes after that game is probably a shitty iteration of that game. So then we're going to come back to playing that game. The the game that kind of got me popping and kind of got us comp or whatever. Or is Treyarch going to say, you know what? Let's not even put out a game. Let's let's do something totally different. Let's let this game ride the wave right here. I don't think that they're going to be doing that. And that streamer has to, to be think really, that, uh, again to think that there's not a in the next ten to fifteen years there won't be another Fortnite s type of movement. I, I, just don't. Don't. Now, I, th- I think for me and 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 I'll let Beasos get final word here because at the end of the day I hope you and Beasos are right. Nah, that'd be fucking cool. Let me be clear. I don't have beef with gaming, but I think. Uh, The final issue for me is why would said gamer with the personality then only niche down on gaming at that point? Like, it's hard for me to see that individual Mm -hmm. get that blow up and then say, okay, I'm just and I'm just pick on Overwatch. I'm I'm the best Overwatch player in the world. I have motion. People fuck with my personality. I'm going to wait for Overwatch three. And that's all the content I'm making. There's no 
fucking way that that's what they choose. So I think again, that's just another fat ass domino that but, has to fall. Yeah. I don't think but, they have to lock in on one game to be honest. I was just about to say that. Okay. That, I don't think that has to be the case. They don't have to just if they're the best Overwatch player in the world. Okay, bet they're the best Overwatch player in the world. The thing that's setting them apart is that they're not going to be the people that are just waiting for Overwatch three to come out to post content. We're going to see something good. new. We're going to see that comp person with a streamer mentality, and they're going to use that. They're actually yeah, do going IRL to be, streams and everything. Able to use that. They're okay. going to be but, able to do streamer s things. But then when they have to go and lock in for this tournament coming up, lock in for this league coming up, that's going to be the difference. The Click, only, clicks Loki does I'm it moved, already. Maybe, Click, maybe clicks I'm is the guy that does it. I, I see where you're coming from. Maybe I'm moving. Well, the forward. only because uh, now I agree with you. Say the only the only pushback I would give to that is once we've gotten tired of the Overwatch three or whatever the case may be, or once you've given us a taste of the other stuff. What Paul Pierce say? I'm gonna want the whole thing. Once you've embraced <laughs> that streaming life, I'm t- we're talking about a young dude getting a lot of money. Or a young girl, a young woman getting a lot of money, right? Once they start to get a taste of that other life, and they get invited to New York Fashion Week, this red carpet, this movie premiere, to be a part of this movie, to be a part of X, Y, and Z. Not saying they won't ever pick the sticks up, but naturally the audience is going to be like, "No, nah, I probably want to see a little bit more of that than I want to see you lock in on Overwatch." Overwatch got me here. I want to see that. That'd then I, I, I just say that that person would not be. The, the person, the mega star, yeah, I got you, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah. And, and that's why I said I might have moved a goalpost because I get what you're saying that that person, mm-hmm. the entirety, would be yo fuck that though I'm gaming so because I think I think again one of the closest examples I could think of right now is Jinxie and from my understanding Jinxie did like IRL content for a year that motherfucker just wants the game and is done with the drama so much he just locked it on gaming like fucking he he wants the game like I I feel like that person. Would just genuinely want to game, and and that that's it. Yeah, but you would put that cap back on yourself. But go ahead. 